tonight I'm sitting with an absolutely amazing guest who we've taken a while to meet. Eh? We've taken a while to meet. I'm sitting with Lesetia Tuna over here. And tonight's discussion is, again, about property. And as much as this is the first time home buyer show, we have guests who come on the show who educate first time home buyers. We do not only speak to first time home buyers. And tonight, Lesetia has been in the property game since 2008. And just before we carry on, Lesetia, please say hi to our guests this evening. Good evening, good evening, guys. And uh, nice to be here. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Just, yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me and let's talk about this. First, introduce us. You do quite a few things. Your bio <laughs> is this long, <laughs> very long. So let's talk a little bit about that. Tell us about who, who is Lesetja. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Lesetja, it's, uh, it's a very young day. Am I young? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very young, dynamic uh, individual. Um, I'm a father of two and um, you're a husband to my wife. And... Um, I'm a, I'm a property investor. I uh, started investing in property from 2008, and uh, I'm still a full-time employee. They yeah. call it 9 to 5, yeah. but uh, even by 5 o'clock, unfortunately, some of us will still be in Zoom meetings. So there's absolutely no 9 to 5 for exactly. us. Exactly. Um, and how is it juggling all of that? It's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. um, it requires a lot of discipline. It requires a lot of sacrifices and uh, being away from your from your family. Because mm -hmm. pre-COVID, you know, we used to travel. I used to travel a lot as well. So I would be away from my family as well. And uh, over the weekend, I try as much as I can to, uh, you know, to navigate my property journey yeah. and make sure that, you know, I do deals and uh, go and view because you, you're not going to do deals if you don't view properties. Of first. course. Yeah. And now, what was it that inspired you to get into property? I don't think there was a a, a moment uh, mm -hmm. that actually inspired me. It was more of a natural progression. Um, you know, started. I was first a home buyer, mm -hmm. and before I became a home buyer, mm -hmm. I, I I wanted to understand the environment in terms of uh, what it actually means to be a property owner. Mm. So I then ventured and started looking for property. While mm. looking for properties, there were a lot of things that I actually did not understand. Uh, I think at that time we did not have YouTubes, we didn't have this kind of shows as well, where one could actually tap into to go and look for things that, uh, you know, if a, as a first time home buyer, mm. you should actually look out for. I signed my first offer and uh, during the week, you know, I signed it over the weekend, during the week, I cancelled that offer because... Yeah. Uh, I was uncertain on, 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 on a lot of things. Then eventually, I then joined one of the estate agents' company as an intern, yeah. mainly to not to earn an income, it would have been a bonus, but mainly to learn so that mm. I could understand the environment and uh, and understand what is really going on mm. as, a, as, a, as a property owner. And I'm all, for, I'm all for experiential learning. And I think that a lot of the young kids, and especially students when you are studying, should take that opportunity to volunteer um, and to offer their free services to learn this. Because I feel like knowledge is power and Absolutely. no one can take that away from you. Absolutely. You said you didn't have YouTube, so you gave away your age. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have YouTube. No, and now we know. <laughs> no, we didn't have YouTube at that time. Let's talk about that home buying experience. Because um, you said that you, know, you, you withdrew the offer a few weeks later. Um, Within the week. Within, within that week, week yes. yeah. So what was your first time home buying experience like? Look, I, I, I don't think I had a checklist, so to say. I didn't know what I was actually looking for. Mm. What I knew that was that I don't want to rent anymore. Mm. Um, you know, it, it was time for me to, I didn't have a family at that time, by the way. So I was staying with my brother. Mm. So I said, you know what, we've been renting. So it's time for us to go and uh, look for a property. So we started looking for property. What kind of property where I really didn't have a sort of a defined direction right. that uh, I want to stay in Pretoria North, for an example. I'm looking for a flat. I didn't know the pros and the cons of actually owning a flat, the pros and cons of owning a townhouse or a standalone house. Mm. So I, I just, you know, blindly went out and said, I'm looking for a house. Yeah. I'm looking for a property to stay in. And now you know the pros and cons. Now I do. Mm. I do. I do know the pros and cons in terms of, um, you know, what kind of properties one should actually look at. And, uh, you know, your area as well. What are the mm. things that you need to look at? Because it's, there's science behind each and every. Of course. Whether you're talking about your strategy, whether you're talking about your area, because you don't just wake up. There is St. Mm. for example. But within the St. there are areas that you can look and say, this is what I want to focus mm -hmm. on in St. 